वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल वी आर बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन थीसिस कोर्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड प्रॉपर्टीज इन आवर टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द फॉन्ट प्रॉपर्टीज नो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दीस फॉन्ट प्रॉपर्टीज द प्रॉपर्टीज व्हिच आर गोइंग टू बी एडेड टू योर फॉन्ट्स विल बी नोन एज योर फॉन्ट प्रॉपर्टी इन दिस फॉन्ट प्रॉपर्टीज यू विल बी हैविंग फॉन्ट साइज यू विल बी हैविंग फॉन्ट वेट फॉन्ट फैमिली फॉन्ट स्टाइल फॉन्ट वेरिएंट so these are the five properties which you can add to your font first one is font size whenever you are going to add your font size you can take pixels pixels points em ex rem etc then next you have a font weight here you can use the properties as a bold bolder light lighter or any of weight ranging from 100 to 900 next you have font family you have multiple various font families which you can use by default there are some font families which are by default present in the css and there are other font families also which you can use from google fonts next you have a font style font style will be bold italic then font variant this font variant property is going to specify whether or not the text should be displayed in the small caps font now let us see all these in the visual studio code within this background property let us add the font families so first of all we already have the background properties added here for this background property itself we are going to use the font properties and let us make this a beautiful one so we have studied the paragraph and here for this paragraph i'm going to add a lorem dummy paragraph Now in the styles.css first we have to make sure if we are using external style sheet we need to make sure that the it has been linked to our html tag so here it is not yet linked so let me link it over here i'll just use the link tag here you have link css styles.css and i'll just save it save it once i'm going to save it anything you're going to write here will be shown in this html document now i'll be using star this is the universal selector here for the universal selector i'll be using it for the font family because forever throughout the page i need the font family to be seen so these are some basic font families that are already present in by default if you want anything apart from these you just have to use it from google from google font so this is the basic font property that i need throughout my page now next i have one h1 and i also have a paragraph tag so for the h1 what i'm going to do i'll use a font size to be large okay this is large larger will be this if you don't want these things you have x large xx large xx small other thing. next you have you can directly use the pixels i'm just going to use 40 pixels so this is my 40 pixels done here I'll save it. This is the font size. Next, you have a font variant. If you want to use it in the small caps, then you need to use this font variant. So this is going to give you the smaller letter size, but they will be in caps lock keys. So this is about the font variant. Next, you have a font style. So what I'm going to do, I'll be using the paragraph tag, and inside the paragraph, I'll be using a font style. Font style italic. Now we can see these are in italic. You also have one more thing that is called as a font weight. Font weight. You have hundred to nine hundred, and you have a bold, bolder, and lighter. So for this, I'm going to give the background to be nine hundred. That is the maximum bold length. And then for this one, I'm just going to use font weight to be as four hundred. So this will be a bit lighter weight. So this is how you can use your font families. in your html document by linking the css document so this is about the font properties next we have text properties now what are these text properties we are going to add the text properties there are certain properties which are going to be added here for example color color can be one property to add the text color to add the color for the text you can use rgb rgba absolute value then rgb value in percentage you have rgba value in percentage keywords we have seen this that particular uh, video will be linked in the card and also in the description you can just go through it keywords and then you have hexadecimal color codes hexadecimal color codes and also you have shorthand hexadecimal color codes hexadecimal color codes 
then you have direction for the text whether you want it from right to left or left to right then next you have letter spacing what should be the space between each letter say for example you have text text what should be the space between these letters you have letter spacing for that then you have word spacing spacing between the words then you have a text indentation what do you mean by a text indentation whenever you have a page like this and when you start writing your notes you start it from here and then you're going to continue it from here so this space that you're going to leave for the first line that is there that will be known as a text indentation so that is text indentation next you have text alignment whether you want to align your text to the center left right middle so that will be your text align next you have text decoration whether you want an underline for your text whether you want an overline for your text or you don't want anything for your text that will be for your text decoration the next you have text transformation text transformation is basically for capitals small letters or camel cases you will have the text transformations the next you have white spaces the next is text shadowing that is adding certain shadow to your text so this these are certain text properties that we have you can add these text properties to any of the text in your web pages now let us see these in the visual studio code now we also have the text decorations so what i'm going to do is here i want certain text properties for my h1 so what i'm going to do i'll just add here as a text properties and I'll just comment this so that you guys will clearly understand what are, what are the properties that I'm going to add here. So first one, I'm going to add the color. So the color for this text property will be red. Next, you have also have something called as a text shadowing. So what is this text shadowing? Whenever you use this text shadowing, there will be a cast of shadow. So I'm going to use four pixels, four pixels, eight pixels, and the color for this shadow will be black now you can see that there is certain text shadowing found so this is how you are going to add text shadowing so this will be for the top right and this will be for the blurring effect and this is the color whatever you want for the background so this is text shadowing then you have something called as letter spacing so what i'm going to do i'll just add certain letter spacing here letter spacing about 15 pixels now you can see that there is 15 pixels of gap left between each letter so this is too much i'm just going to add it to five pixels so this is the letter spacing i want then you also have word spacing the space between the words will be known as word spacing i'll just use word spacing and i'll use 15 pixels between each word now each word will be left 15 pixels of cap so this is these are the four properties that you have for the text next you also have text decoration so i'm going to use a text decoration to underline so you will have an underlined text data here so if you don't want to underline you can also use line through so this is your line through then you have overline so this will be overline so right now we don't need anything so i'm just going to comment this i just keep it underlined or you also have none you can just use none so i'm just going to comment it text to decoration next you have a text align so i'm just going to align this text in the center so it is now aligned in the center there is a text indentation text indentation of 15 pixels now you can see that there is a 15 six pixels a small gap left so what i'm going to do i'll just make it as a 50 pixels now there is certain indentation added here you have a direction for the text you can use left to right and right to left this is from left it has been left a certain indentation towards right it is going so this is right to left i don't want it we be using the default one that is left to right then you have a text to transform you have capitalized them lowercase them uh none and uppercase i'll just be using capitalize so that you can see that every letter every first letter of every word is been capitalized so this is capitalized so these are a certain text properties that are present in css so let us see this in the live server how it is going to look like this is how it is going to look like this is the background pro formatting properties and this is the background that we have added there is a paragraph for all the paragraph i for these headings i have added color then i have added text align text there are certain text properties that are added text transformations are being added here in this paragraph and other things so this is all for today's video meet you again in the next video till then keep learning and stay tuned Bye bye